So in this video, I'm going to walk you through just some of the Oklahoma City districts. I'm not gonna talk about all of them, but some of the main ones, some of my personal favorites, and make sure you wait till the end because at the end, I'm going to talk about my absolute favorite Oklahoma City district. <music> My name is Kinsley Hauser and I'm a local realtor in the Oklahoma City Metro. If you're thinking of moving, if you're thinking of investing, if you're thinking of relocating, whatever the case, whether it's 10 days or 10 months, I would love to be able to work with you and help you on your next purchase. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can give me a call or text, email, you can send me a DM or schedule a Google Meet so that we can get in contact and I can help you plan your move. So like I said in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite districts in Oklahoma City. And the first one is the downtown area. Area. This is Oklahoma City's central business area. It's a hub of commerce, government buildings, and cultural attractions. Here you'll find landmarks like Oklahoma City Natural Memorial, Myriad Botanical Gardens, and a plethora of other historical downtown buildings. It's also undergoing a very continuous revitalization with new residential and commercial properties. The next district is Midtown. This is a blend of historic neighborhoods and trendy developments. It features upscale dining options, boutiques, coffee coffee shops, and a vibrant art scene. Midtown is known for its walkability and community events, and it attracts people that are very interested in that urban lifestyle. So where you live, where you work, where you eat, it's very walkable. It's kind of its own vibe and theme in and of itself. The third district is Uptown 23rd. This is located along Northwest 23rd Street. It's a very diverse district offering a mixture of shopping, dining, and entertainment options. It has a thriving culinary scene with many, many options for again, that dining, bars, cafes, as well as different art galleries in the district. Number four is the Paseo Arts District, and I feel like this is a pretty popular one. It's known for its artistic vibe, and it's filled with galleries, studios, and different eclectic shops. It hosts monthly First Friday gallery walks where visitors can explore exhibitions, enjoy live music, and really get to experience the local creative community that is the Paseo Arts District. The next district is Western Avenue. This area is is a very popular bustling area of retail shops, restaurants, and bars. It's known for its trendy atmosphere and it definitely kind of has that upscale feel to it. It's close to Class and Curve, which is going to house like Trader Joe's and really just some very trendy and kind of modern types of stores. Next is the Adventure District, and as it sounds, it's full of adventure and fun. It is home to some of the city's top attractions, housing the Oklahoma City Zoo, the Science Museum, and Remington Park Racing and Casino. The Adventure District is a very family-friendly district, lots to do for everybody, with a focus on entertainment and education. And as promised, the last one I'm going to talk about is my favorite district, just because I love the atmosphere I love what goes on. I love walking down there and that is Bricktown. Bricktown is in the heart of Oklahoma City. It's known as the city's entertainment district. It's characterized by its historic red brick buildings and cobblestone streets. It's home to so many restaurants and venues and bars and entertainment. You have the Chickasaw Bricktown Ballpark, which is where the Oklahoma City Dodgers play. There's also various concerts and sporting events that take place in Bricktown. It was once a warehouse district, which really adds to the really the unique feel that you get when you're in Bricktown. Within Bricktown, you have the water taxi where there is a canal that runs throughout Bricktown. You can ride on the water taxi and learn a little bit about Oklahoma and specifically Oklahoma City history. We did this a few months ago and it honestly was a lot of fun and very informative and I learned a lot about Oklahoma and Oklahoma City as a whole that I didn't know before. And also it's just really fun and cool to be able to ride the water taxi through downtown. You have Brickopolis, which is kind of like a carnival. There's putt-putt, laser tag. There is a little Ferris wheel. There's a lot to do that is kind of a part of Brickopolis. It's also fun just to go down and walk through the sidewalks. You walk along the canal and just to walk through the different restaurants and shops and everything that they have in Bricktown. One evening we were out walking and on this little circle type of square area, there were just people who brought their boom boxes and they had a little dance competition and it was really cool and just kind of add to that environment as you're walking around. You get to stop and watch the dance competitions. We love to walk around and go eat. There's Dave's Hot Chicken, there is Torchy's, 
There's a Cold Stone down there. So there's really a lot to eat. There's Bricktown Brewery. We love going down there. There's the movie theater. And so it's really just a very fun district. And anytime somebody comes and visits us, that is one of the first places we have to take them is Bricktown because we, again, just love the area and we love spending time down there. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that if you are in Oklahoma City, if you're thinking of moving to maybe one of the districts, if you're just looking for something to do and this video caught your eye, I hope that it was helpful. Again, if you're thinking of moving, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and I will catch you in my next video.